Hi there, this is Dan and today I'll be talking about how to get the field names for a table in Flask SQL Alchemy. And then at the end I'll talk about how to do serialization, which is basically taking this um, database, well, table and converting it into a dictionary, okay? Uh, so it's actually quite easy to get the field names. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and say from main import cafe, just because I want to do this in the console. And now I've got this imported, I'm going to say cafe, so the name of the table, dot double underscore table, double underscore dot columns, okay? And if I go ahead and store that in a columns variable and see what columns is, you can see it's a read-only column collection. Um, and this is actually an iterable, so, it, so I can say for col in columns, I go ahead and print col, and you can see that's gonna get ID, name, map URL, etc. And that is indeed the column names in the table uh, cafe, okay? Now, this is okay if you want to say cafe dot every time, but if you actually want the column name as a string, then we're gonna to have to use the dot name attribute for the column. So I'm gonna say for col in columns, and this time print col dot name. And you can see this time we've got ID name, um, et cetera, without the cafe dot, et cetera. Um, and again, that is the names of the columns. So to simplify this for us, this stage is optional, by the way, you can make a list comprehension with all of these names in. So I'm going to say col.name for col in cafe dot double underscore table double underscore dot columns. Now, if you're not familiar with this uh, list comprehension syntax, basically it goes like this item for item in an iterable and it's the same thing as saying a list equals empty list for item in an iterable um list dot append count kind of thing if you know what i mean and now you can see if we go ahead and store this inside of x and see what x is it's going to be a list of these different field names for our cafe table okay perfect now, the next thing we're going to talk about is how to do serialization, which is basically taking all of these different records or rows and converting it to a dictionary, okay? So, for example, we might have a list of these different um, dictionaries. And for example, the ID is the key and one is the value. Name is Science Gallery London. Now, you can see at the moment, this is a fancy class. If I say cafe, um, this is a weird class. So to convert this to a dictionary, which is basically what serializing is, so we're gonna have a list of these different rows or records where the uh, field name is the key and obviously the value is the value it holds, okay? So to do this, what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm going to need to, first of all, get all of these different records in my table. So to do that, I can say cafe, so the name of the table, dot query dot all with parenthesis. As you can see, if I go ahead and press enter, it's saying we need to be inside of an app dot app context. And to actually be able to use our app, which is defined in the actual file um, here, then I'm gonna to need to go ahead and say from main import app. Okay, and then I can go ahead and make my app context and say cafe data equals cafe.query.all. And if you go and see cafe data, you can see it's a list of these different cafe classes, which are basically the records for this. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and make a variable saying cafe data serialized, because remembering the serialized thing is a list of the dictionaries, and the dictionaries are like the records, okay? And I can say for cafe in cafe data to actually loop through all of these different records. And the reason I'm doing that is, well, fairly obviously to serialize each cafe and then add it to the cafe data serialized list, okay? So to actually be able to serialize them, I'm gonna need a dictionary, remember to store all of the different uh, pieces of data for this cafe in it. So I'm gonna say this cafe data equals an empty dictionary. For field in X, remember X is this list of the field names. So for example, field is first of all gonna be equal to ID, then name, then map URL, etc. And then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to want to set the key in this, this cafe data dictionary as the field name. So I'm gonna say this cafe data and then with field in double brackets equals, and then I want to get this field um, from the cafe. So remember cafe is a um, one of these cafe classes. So normally I could say cafe1.id and that's gonna get me one or cafe1.name, that's gonna get me science gallery London, etc. But if we try to say cafe from the current cafe that we're looping through dot field, 
then that's going to give us an error because it's going to say cafe doesn't have an attribute fields okay so that basically means we're going to have to use a, a separate function called get atta so no underscores in this one gets a t t r and then the first item is going to be the object that we want to get an attribute of and the second one is the attribute that we want to actually get from it which in this case is the field now think about how this is actually going to be evaluated so field is first of all going to be equal to id we're getting the id attribute from cafe and then we're setting this with the key of the field okay now if this is really confusing you then don't worry about it so when we're finished adding all of these different fields and data to the this cafe data then we can come out of this for loop and we need to go ahead and add this cafe data um, to the actual list of records because remember this cafe data now holds um, a full record of data so I'm gonna say data serialize dot append so dot append adds something to the list and dot append this cafe data and you can see if I go ahead and press enter and I look at data serialize it's got this list of dictionaries where each dictionary is a row okay perfect now to make this even more complicated you can actually make a list slash dictionary comprehension with this as well so I'm going to say with app dot app context again I'm going to say square brackets for a list and remember the syntax for a list comprehension is item for item in an iterable well the iterable is going to be cafe dot query dot all and the counter item is going to be the cafe and then for the item what I want is a dictionary comprehension now the syntax for a dictionary comprehension is key colon value for key in and then an iterable and in this case the iterable is going to be our column so to cafe.table.column and the counter is going to be the column and then for the key value pair I want the key as the column name so call.name and I want the value as this get at a kind of thing so to get the current cafe's attribute of column.name okay now if we go ahead and press enter you can see we're going to get exactly the same thing as we did above perfect we're done thank you very much for watching bye bye